Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs for mobile optimized ebooks. Please install GK Today Academy app. Now, let's start. On which date the Good Governance Day is observed? Right answer is 25th of December. So Good Governance Day is observed on 25th of December every year and it is observed to mark the birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Actually, it was started in 2014 and since then, 25th of December is celebrated as Good Governance Day. On the occasion of Good Governance Day, the Government of India took certain decisions. We are going to cover these major aspects. First is launch of Atal Bhujal Yojana. Second one is naming of tunnel under Rohtang Pass as Atal Tunnel. And third one is Good Governance Index. Now, if we talk about Atal Bhujal Yojana, it is a groundwater management scheme and for this scheme, the funding pattern would be 50-50. That means 50% of funding would be provided by Government of India and rest of the 50% would be provided by World Bank. And Jal Sakti Ministry is going to be implementing authority for this scheme. Second decision is naming of tunnel under Rotang Pass as Atal Tunnel. So this is world's longest tunnel above an altitude of 3000 meters and it is situated in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Third thing is Good Governance Index. We are going to cover this in upcoming question. Strategic Tunnel under Rohtang Pass was recently renamed after which of the following individuals? Right answer is Atal Bihari Vajpayee. So it was renamed after Vajpayee. It is a tunnel in Himachal Pradesh and it is present on the Peer Panjal range of Himalayas. Who is Madan Mohan Malviya? who was recently mentioned in news. Right answer is freedom fighter. So Pandit Madan Mohan Malviye was a well-known freedom fighter and 25th of December is his birth anniversary. Now, if we talk about Mr. Madan Mohan Malviye, posthumously, he was conferred Bharat Ratan in 2014. In addition to that, a train was named after Pandit Madan Mohan Malviye in 2016. And the name of this train is Mahamana Express and this train runs between Delhi and Varanasi. It should be kept in mind that Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya was the founder of BHU that is Banaras Hindu University and this BHU is in Varanasi. Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya also founded Hindu Mahasabha. What is Sire Directory that was recently launched by Madhya Pradesh government? Right answer is Matrimonial Record of Cattles. So recently Madhya Pradesh Animal Husbandry Department has compiled matrimonial record of cattles and this was launched as Sire Directory. Now, if we talk about Madhya Pradesh, recently state of Madhya Pradesh was in news as the first mega food park of central India was launched in Devas in Madhya Pradesh. If we talk about mega food park, it is an initiative of Ministry of Food Processing and Industries and the present minister is Harsimrat Kaur Badal. Now coming back to Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh was also in news as state government recently decided to provide 5% reservation to sports persons in government jobs. Madhya Pradesh was also in news as recently Government of India and Asian Development Bank signed an agreement worth 490 million US dollars for the upgradation of roads in Madhya Pradesh. Apart from that, the state was also in news as recently Tansen Samaro held in Madhya Pradesh in Gawalier. And this Tansen Samaro is the oldest classical music festival of India. Many civilians were recently killed in Burkina Faso due to terror strike in the military base. Now question is, it is situated in which part of world? West Africa. So it is a landlocked country and it is situated in the western side of Africa. And recently it was in news because of violence. Typhoon Fanafon had recently hit which of the following countries? Right answer is Philippines. So, Typhoon Fanafon had hit the central Philippines. This Typhoon Fanafon is locally known as Ursula. That means in Philippines, it was also known as Ursula. If we talk about Philippines, Philippines was also in news because of Typhoon Kamori. If we talk about Typhoon, or you can pronounce it in any manner, actually cyclones are popularly known as typhoons in Southeast Asia and China. So it is a cyclone. Now cyclones are Lena that is in northern hemisphere cyclones are low inside and anticlockwise. 
This is not important for banking students, but those who have GS as syllabus, this is important for them. So Lina means in northern hemisphere, cyclones are low inside and the direction is anti-clockwise. Now Philippines is also known for Raman Magsasi Award. Actually, this award is named after the third president of Philippines and popularly this award is known as Asia's Nobel Prize. And this year it was given to NDTV editor Mr. Ravish Kumar. Philippines is very prone to climate vulnerabilities and recently a global climate risk index was in news. Answer in comment box as per this index which country is on top and what is India's ranking as per this index. National Street Food Festival was organized by which of the following institutions? Right answer is NASVI that is National Association of Street Vendors of India. So recently NASVI partnered with FSSAI and organized National Street Food Festival. And the theme of this year's food festival was healthier diets. Now if we talk about FSSAI, it is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. It is under Health Ministry. Present Health Minister is Mr. Harshwadhan Singh and his constituency is Chandni Chok. Now if we talk about Health Ministry, recently Health Minister Dr. Harshwadhan launched Suman Initiative. Suman stands for Surakshit Matritav Aswashan. Now answer in comment box, what is the objective of this initiative? Apart from that, Health Ministry also launched SARS campaign. SARS stands for Social Awareness and Action to Neutralize Pneumonia Successfully. So this is a campaign to prevent child mortality due to pneumonia. As per recently released report by Global Alliance on Health and Pollution, which country saw the most deaths due to pollution? Right answer is our own country that is India. So as per the new report 2019 pollution and health metrics, global and regional as well as country analysis, India saw the highest number of deaths due to pollution. India is followed by China and Nigeria. Now as per this report in 2017, India had most deaths caused by pollution and the number was approximately 2.3 million. That's a huge number. And in China, it was approximately 1.8 million. Now, one important thing you should keep in mind is, is that this report consists of three lists. And India is the only country that features in top 10 in all three lists. So that is something which is very serious. If we talk about total number of deaths due to pollution, India is on top. However, if we talk about deaths due to pollution in proportion to population, then Chad is on top. It is an African country while India is on top in terms of overall total number. Chokhandi Stupa where recently Chinese sign boards were installed is in which state of India? Right answer is Uttar Pradesh. So Chokhandi Stupa is situated in Uttar Pradesh and as per ASI that is Archaeological Survey of India, it is a monument of national importance and recently ASI installed sign boards in Chinese as more than 1 lakh Chinese tourists visit this site. So for, for their convenience, Chinese sign boards were installed. If we talk about ASI, it is under Ministry of Culture and it was founded in 1861. Answer in comment box, who was the first Director General of ASI? Now one more important fact is that UNESCO celebrate World Heritage Week from 19th November to 25th November and in India, ASI that is Archaeological Survey of India celebrate this week. The recently unveiled long distance CNG bus project was executed by which natural gas distributor? Right answer is IGL that is Indraprast Gas Limited. So India's first long distance bus powered by CNG was unveiled in Delhi. It can operate for a distance of 1000 km and the CNG bus project was executed by IGL. Now if we talk about CNG, recently Gujarat government has given approval to CNG terminal facility at Bhavnagar port and this is going to be world's first CNG port terminal. If we talk about Gujarat, the chief minister of Gujarat is Mr. Vijay Rupani and recently Gujarat was in news as it banned the sale of junk food in schools and 50 meter area around them. Gujarat was also in news as recently Gandhinagar became the first kerosene free district of Gujarat. Apart from that, the government of India is going to establish National Maritime Museum 
in Lothal in Gujarat. What is recently tested? Sovereign Runnet. Right answer is Russian Domestic Internet. Actually, the Sovereign Runnet is a domestic internet being developed and tested by Russia. This system allow Russian government to control the point of connection between Russia and rest of world. So this will help in keeping an eye on Russian internet and its connectivity with global network. So this will allow government to restrict the internet. Now if we talk about Russia, Russia was also in news as from 1st of November, Russia's sovereign internet law came into existence. Russia was also in news because of power of Siberia. It is a gas pipeline between Russia and China and recently it was in news because it was inaugurated by Russian President Mr. Putin and Chinese President Mr. Xi Jinping. Russia was also in news because of DASKA. Actually it is defending American security from Kremlin Aggression Act and as per this act USA can impose sanctions on Russia. USA can impose sanctions on Russia via Katsa that is countering American adversaries through sanctions act and with the help of this act USA has already imposed sanctions on Iran and North Korea. Now, if we talk about USA, USA was also in news as recently US president signed National Defense Authorization Act and therefore directing the establishment of US Space Force. Which pre renaissance artist painted the Christ mocked painting which France is seeking to buy? Right answer is Kimabu. So the painting Christ mocked is a work by Kimabu. And this work is from 13th century pre renaissance era and French government is seeking to buy this artwork. Now if we talk about France, France was in news as it decided to impose green tax on plane tickets from 2020. France was also in news as it was the host of this year G7 summit. Next year USA is going to be the host of this summit. Apart from that France was also in news because of Instex. Actually 6 European countries have recently joined Instex. It is instrument in support of trade exchanges and this is headquartered in France and it is a mechanism to bypass US sanctions and to continue trade with Iran and these six countries have decided to join this instex. These countries are Belgium, Denmark, Finland, Netherlands, Norway and Sweden and instex is an initiative by three most powerful countries of Europe that is UK, France and Germany. France was also in news as it was the host of 40th UNESCO General Conference and this conference held in France in Paris. And recently Saudi Arabia got elected as a member of World Heritage Committee of UNESCO. And this is first time that Saudi Arabia got elected. Saudi Arabia is also in news because of G20 summit as it is going to be the host of G20 summit in 2020. Which ministry recently launched the Good Governance Index? Right answer is Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions. So Good Governance Index was launched by Ministry of Personal on the occasion of Good Governance Day. Good Governance Day is celebrated on 25th of December. Now if we talk about this index, as per this index, the state and union territories are divided into three groups. First group is Big States, second is Northeast States and Hill States and third one is Union Territories. Now if we talk about big states, Tamil Nadu has topped this index and Tamil Nadu is followed by Maharashtra and Karnataka while Odisha, Bihar, Goa and Uttar Pradesh as well as Jharkhand are the worst performers in the category of big states. Now coming back to northeast as well as hill states, the index is topped by Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh is followed by Uttarakhand. If we talk about union territories, Puducherry is the best performing union territory and Puducherry is followed by Chandigarh and Delhi. On the other hand, Lakshadweep is the worst performing union territory as per this index. Recently CBER 4A satellite was launched. Now the question is what is the objective of this satellite? Right answer is monitoring of Brazil's Amazon rainforest. So recently the CBER 4A satellite was launched from China's Taiwan Satellite Launching Center and it is a collaboration with between Brazil and China. This is a earth ratio satellite and this is going to monitor the changes in Amazon rainforest. Now if we talk about Brazil, the president of Brazil is Mr. Jair Bolsonaro and he is going to be the chief guest at Republic Day ceremony. 
in 2020. In fact, the last summit of BRICS also held in Brazil. BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. What is Lama Ost, which recently provided information about 30,000 dwarf stars? Right answer is an optical telescope. So Lama Ost stands for Large Sky Area Multi Object Fiber Spectroscopic Telescope. It is an optical telescope, and it is also known as Guo Shoujing. So this optical telescope is located in China, and it was in news recently as it had provided information about 30,000. dwarf stars now if we talk about dwarf stars these are stars with relatively small size and low luminosity now answer in comment box what are exoplanets which railway station was recently awarded e trite station certification right answer is chhatrapati shivaji maharaj terminus railway station so recently chhatrapati shivaji maharaj terminus railway station in mumbai was awarded e trite station certification this certification was given under e trite movement it is a movement by fssci fssci is a body under ministry of health and family welfare fssci stands for food safety and standards authority of india now if we talk about this e trite initiative recently the mumbai central terminus of western railways was given the certification of india's first e trite station the swachh Saniwar scheme which has been in news is being implemented in which state of india right answer is karnataka so the swachh saniwar is an initiative in the rural parts of bengaluru in karnataka and it is based on the swachh bharat abhiyan initiative under this initiative the villagers volunteer and clean the villages on every third saturday of month actually saniwar means saturday so this is an initiative by the Karnataka state government now if we talk about Karnataka the state was also in news as it decided to install gps devices on garbage disposal trucks state was also in news because of india innovation index this index was prepared by niti aayog niti aayog also published sqi that is school education quality index this index is topped by kerala apart from that niti aayog also published composite water management index and answer in comment box which state topped the composite water management index now coming back to karnataka karnataka was also in news as recently hyderabad karnataka region was renamed as kalyan karnataka apart from that karnataka was also in news as karnataka won vijay hazare trophy this year answer in comment box which team won ranji trophy this year what is the upper limit of purchases from prepaid payment instrument that is ppi which was recently introduced by RBI right answer is 10000 indian rupees so recently RBI introduced a new prepaid payment instrument this ppi could be used for purchasing goods and services up to rupee 10000 and the minimum details of the ppi holder will be required for its issue by both banks as well as non bank ppi issuers so these were the most important questions of today's quiz thank you